Jill, go ahead. Hello there. I hired a roofer from a well-respected website to repair a leak in my roof, and it turned out to be a much larger job. Um, and it turned out to be um, that I'd need a new roof, which would cost £15,000. Um, and uh, the roofer, call him John, that's, that's not his name, but I'll call him John, he um, showed me the videos of the roof beforehand. Um, anyway, they carried out the work. Um, I, I didn't have a very good working relationship with him due to various things, but I paid the money in the end, um, paid him the £15,000. And then I contacted my insurance company who wanted to see oh, the videos. I, I know what you're going to say, Jill. <laughs> You're, you're going to say that they told you you want you should get multiple quotes and that they want to see the videos, but you haven't got the videos anymore because you've fallen out with John. Is that right? I didn't think to ask for them, to be honest, because yeah, yeah because be, before obviously before videos um, and new technology, somebody used to come round from the insurance company and have a look at the work. But I didn't realise that you have to show the videos now. Anyway, my roofers told me that um, that. He's lost everything on his phone and uh, there's no way he can get it back and he's apologised. Um, so I've been in contact with the insurance company again and it's been the situation and they said, sorry, there's nothing we can do. So I guess you're going to say it was my responsibility to have made sure that I had the videos. I'd asked. Well, it's not so much your responsibility to make sure you had the videos, although obviously that would be helpful, Jill, but it's... It's unfortunate, I, I use that neutral word, it's unfortunate that you didn't contact your insurers before getting the work done. Yes, because you're right. Because insurers normally say, we want proof the work needs doing and we want proof the quote is a reasonable one. And they're both perfectly reasonable requests. And your insurance company is completely reasonable now saying, I want proof or we want proof the work needed doing. And it wasn't just Jill having an upgrade to her roof because she fancied an upgrade. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right. If you'd contacted the insurers at the beginning, they could have either seen that video or you could have got a fresh video or, or got proof in some other way. Now it's too late. And you may struggle to persuade them to pay up. Yes. Yeah. Um, to be honest with you, they have. They looked at my ceiling, the mm -hmm. interior, my 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 ceiling, you know, um, at the top of the stairs, just under the roof, and and it's a big wet patch there. So they're going to pay for that. They're going to give me a thousand pounds, which I don't think it will cost me to have that repaired. Yeah. So they paid out for that. But I suppose it's going to be a lesson for anybody to um, to get in touch with their insurance company first. I think that's good advice. Now, look, what you can do, Jill, is you... Have you totally fallen out with this roofer? Yeah, I mean... Because oh. um, what I was going to say is you could get I, a statement I have from him. I've been in touch with him and we've spoken quite pleasantly. Mm. And um, I've, I've thanked him for the work he's done because he did do a good job and I had somebody else to come and verify that, that he's done a good job. Um... So, you know, we've left it like that. We're still talking, but he just insists that he's, um, you know, he's lost all these videos. And I thought, well, what about... I, then I phoned him, sorry, then I texted him um, saying, what about iCloud? But he hasn't got back to me. So I think... And also I have to console myself that the insurance company might have said it was wear and tear. Yes, there's that as well. There is that as well. But uh, what I would do, I mean, maybe see if you can get a statement from him explaining what the state of the roof was. But I, I, honestly, Jill, I think the insurers are entitled to ask for the evidence because your, your, your policy will say, they've actually been quite nice talking to you. Your policy will say you need to get authority from us before doing the works. Yes, I understand that, Daniel. Yeah. Thank you. All right. And so if, if he doesn't give me a statement, there's nothing else I can do, I really. That, I think there's very little you can do. The only possibility, and I'm really clutching at straws here, have you had a look at um, Google Google Maps and see if you can get an aerial view of your house that's a year or two old? I haven't, actually. Have a look at that. That's a possibility, but I, I doubt it'll help you, but there's, there's a small chance.